Hello everyone, I'm Stephen Ralston and this week we are doing the trusty algorithm or your gut case study. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a background. Um, Aliyah Jones needs to hire a new marketing director for the company BBI. She has two candidates, one being Ed and the other Molly. The decision making process involves interviews and data analysis through algorithms. So some additional information, Aliyah has history working with Molly and they have formed a very good relationship with one another. Molly worked on Leah's team in the beauty division for the past few years. And despite their relationship, Molly acted very professional in the interview process. Leah is also very unfamiliar with Ed. After looking over his resume, he showed great potential, but he was also late to the interview and gave stiff answers. The HR and analytics team also put together an algorithm and the data was based on Ed and Molly's emails and meetings throughout the BBI company. Ed scored a 96% match and Molly scored an 83% match. So the question here is who should, Mo who should Aaliyah hire? And in my opinion, I think it should be Molly. Um, both candidates I felt were actually very good candidates. So I'm not saying that Ed is a bad one. I mean, I think the data did show he had a 96% match and the HR team and analytics team felt very confident in his abilities. But with that being said, Aaliyah knows Molly is capable of doing the job and she's, she feels very confident in her abilities. They also have a very good relationship with one another. And I think it spoke volumes that Molly treated the interview process so professionally. Aaliyah is also unsure of Ed. He was late to the interview, and in my opinion, it's pretty unimpressive that someone shows up to interview late if they're supposed to be treating the job um, very importantly. Um, and she also just did not feel very excited about hiring him. On the other hand, Aaliyah also felt very unaware of how the algorithm works. She was kind of uh, slapped in the face with it last second, and she wasn't really prepared for this whole process. Um, in my opinion, I think the data used in the algorithm was not enough. Just using emails and, and meetings throughout BBI is not enough to show who's better as a marketing director for the company. And even with that said, I think an 83% is still a very good score. Earlier this week, we also watched a TED Talk on algorithm bias, and the speaker, Joy, talked about how the data may not always be accurate in representing what is needed for the job. So I think that that was very representative in this, in this scenario, and I feel like it fit perfectly. Um, and despite Aaliyah feeling biased towards Molly, I still think that she just trusts her and she has a better feel about her. Obviously, if they've worked together for a few years and Aaliyah knows what Molly is capable of and what she can do, then why not Why not trust her? I mean, I, I think that it would make working together an easier process. And um, if she were to hire Ed and didn't feel trust in him, then she would have an issue of, you know, always trying to breathe over his shoulder and seeing if he's messing up or doing something right. And I think it would just take away from what she needs to be doing. So I think overall, I think Molly is the better choice. Some steps here uh, to take in order for BBI to deploy full use of the algorithm. I believe that they need to enhance the algorithm to include more determining factors. So this week we read the Grow case study and it talked about how some of these different companies were using, were, were improving the, the Grow analytic system and trying to add to it. And I think that was a big part in this, um, in this, data being so inaccurate, in my opinion, I think that they should be adding personality traits and situational decision-making um, questions um, that, that the candidates could take in order to give a better representation of how well they could do their job. Um, just emails and meetings throughout BBI, I feel like is not enough to determine who would be the better marketing director. Um, and also try not to just limit the algorithm to the hiring process. I think they could use the algorithm to review employee production. So they could potentially be using it for promotional purposes, incentives and bonuses, such, such like that. And um, 
And what I mean by that is earlier this week, David Lee talked about, you know, you have an investment in, in your employees, you're paying them, you, you, you recruited them and all that. So why not find the weaknesses and improve their training um, over time? I mean, if, you, if you've invested your time and, and money into them, you might as well try to get the best out of them. And that could lead back to the, to the incentives. If someone's improving in a certain area, give them a bonus, um, promote them. If someone's doing very well at a certain thing, um, I think that there's a lot that they could do. And also, I think they could expand the matching of job candidates and job titles. So I think in this scenario, they had two very good candidates, Molly and Ed, and they limited them to just one job title. I feel like maybe there wasn't another job opening, but maybe down, soon down the road there will be. And if they were to you know, put more data in there and see who, who was good at what, um, maybe you could say that one of them was a better sales director or, or something like that, where, you know, maybe you get the best of both worlds eventually and you could hire, you could promote both of them to, to a better position. So, um, I think there's some, there's some room to grow there. Um, and yeah, uh, here are my references. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much.